the never-ending struggle haunting producers from day one. Melodies. You don't know how to come up with memorable melodies and maybe you don't even know much about music theory so you have no clue on how to approach this. But after analyzing thousands of songs throughout my career trying to understand why are these melodies so memorable I think I found a pattern. And now I have a method that I use every single day to come up with unique hooky melodies and this is gonna change the way you think about melodies and the way you think about chords too because the two you'll find out are strictly related. To me the best producers at doing this are Stargate. They made hundreds of millions maybe billions by doing this. They have produced Diamonds by Rihanna, So Sick by Neo, and so many incredible songs. So there are a few key concepts that I found to be recurring in all of these memorable melodies. And the first one is pretty easy. Starting from the chords and extracting the melody from the chords that most of the times, even if you don't know it, have something inside them that's kind of calling for a certain melody. So maybe now you're thinking, I don't even know how to come up with chords in the first place. How am I supposed to come up with a melody now? But listen, we're in 2023. You shouldn't worry about that because there are so many tools to come up with chords nowadays. You have MIDI packs, you have loops, you have plugins. And actually one of them is the sponsor of today's video, Output Arcade, which is definitely one of the best at that. But we'll talk about that later. So you've found some chords, but how do we go from chords to melodies? Let's take a quick look to So Sick by Neo because it makes it really clear to understand. So do you know the song? And I'm so sick of love songs. That one, okay? So the chords of the song are pretty simple. <laughs> But if you play them like that, it's not really interesting, it's not really inspiring, right? But if you start to move them and play them in a little bit more syncopated way, this can get you some new ideas. And if you can't play it like I just did, you can do it here. At this point, what they did was simply looking at the notes that compose the chords. They started using these notes plus one note that is not in the chord, but they use it for connecting. And so they went to this F. Oh, okay, so maybe now I can use this one. And from here, the melody is kind of calling for that descending scale, right? Da, 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 da. It's all in this first chord. Oh, now this feels too much. Let's simplify. And from here, the rest is history. See, you can totally do it in the piano roll. That's what I just did. But for me, it's even easier to just, you know, look at my hands on the keyboard and be like, okay, these are the notes that I'm playing. How can I move them? And even if you don't play keyboard, even if you have literally no idea of how this works, I still encourage you sometimes to just put your hands on the piano and experiment, you know, embrace the trial and error because sometimes great things come out of errors. And if you just don't try, you'll never know. Have you ever seen that mouse in the studio? Nine times out of 10, he doesn't even know what he's doing. He's just experimenting and whether he does it on the keyboard or in the piano roll he's just embracing the trial and error and see what works what makes him feel something it's all about that you gotta experiment that's why when i see people on youtube saying like oh yeah move this note up by two steps three steps down seven steps up well, what does that mean? It's not a rule. And if you've tried those methods, you probably know already that they don't work because it depends on the chords that you have. The melody is gonna make you feel different things depending on the chords that you have. That's why I'm saying if you struggle with melodies, start from the chords and see where that brings you. Another example, Blinding Lights, one of the most memorable melodies of 2022. Was it 2022? 2021? COVID just changed the perspective of time, whatever. They had these chords. What are the notes? F, F. Eventually, they use the G, but you know, it's just one additional note. And then same here. Same thing, same concept. So now let's see how to apply this first concept from scratch. And if you don't know how to come up with chords, what you can do is going for chord loops. And that's where today's sponsor come into play because lately when I wanna use a pre-made chord loop, I'm heavily reliant on Output Arcade. With Arcade, I have way more flexibility and I find it interesting that it's organized by lines, which are basically collections of sounds that fall all under the same genre or vibe. For example, you know, Hooked is all vocals, Drip is for hip hop, and there are tons of these. Today, I feel like doing something up tempo. So I'm looking for something dance and electronic, so I'm going for where house and inside this there is a bunch of samplers that have loops chopped up that you can just play with your keyboard basically every key on your keyboard is gonna have a loop which is super interesting you can just preview these samplers and I'm hearing something right here that caught my attention it's this little thing these are some chords that are definitely inspiring me because there is something inside them that's kind of calling for a certain melody already. But I wonder if it sounds better in a different key. You can just do it from here, it's super easy. Nice, yeah. 
G minor sounds so much better. I'm gonna bounce this to audio. And there's also this interesting bass that goes together. Now it's starting to make sense. Okay, so I opened a very simple piano. I'm gonna figure out the chords, but if you can't do it on your own, no problem, you can do this. Right click and then convert harmony to new MIDI track. So these are the chords, but we're lucky because in the loop that we have, the chords are moving already. So just by moving these chords, what I'm hearing in the original loop is that the top note, this F, is where the melody begins. It's something like that. We start from the chord, which has these notes, and then we take the top note, we play it three times in a row in this case, okay? And then we add two notes that are not in the chord, but just next to the notes that we have already, a G, and then we go to this E flat. And then it keeps going. And these are, Guess what? The notes of the second chord. So there is again one note, this D, which is not part of the second chord. So now I'm gonna actually put this down and this is what I came up with. I kind of played it in and then fixed it with MIDI. which is also layered with the original loop from Arcade. But to make sure that the melody stands out, I wanna add one more layer with some more top hand to really hear that melody in the top notes of the chords. And I wanna show you this feature by Arcade, which I think is really cool. Since the first loop that inspired us came from this warehouse line, you can look inside here and it's not only samplers, you're gonna also find instruments. These are basically presets, then they all make sense with that genre, that vibe they are going for. So it's perfect because I know that if I'm taking a preset from inside here, it's gonna fit the song. In this case, the first one is this diamond piano which is really nice. It's a little sparkly on top and I think it's gonna really help as a layer. Perfect. So this might be not the best melody ever, but it definitely sticks in my head. It's definitely memorable enough and it's emotional with these chords. It's kind of giving me some Fred again vibes. I kind of want to go that route with this beat. I quickly added some drums because inside this sampler, I also found some of these things. All of these things makes a lot of sense with what we're doing. And so I just took some of these layers and added some quick drums. Whew. I love that. So guys, make sure that you check out Arcade because you can try it for free for 30 days. And on top of that, you can have 50% off your first paid month if you go through the link in the description. Thank you Output for sponsoring this video. There is another concept that I wanna explore with you guys, which is counter melodies. So what are counter melodies? Most of the times counter melodies are melodies that are related to the main one, but they play different notes. I found a totally different sound for this counter melody. It's a preset from Arcade again. And I wanna show you how we can get to a counter melody starting from the main melody. I'm gonna take this MIDI and I'm gonna mute all of the notes except for the top notes. And starting from this one, you can find some ways to, let's say, harmonize this melody and build a counter melody that's gonna help the main one stand out. So there are a few formulas to do that. I don't really love to do it like that because it's not gonna work every single time. But if you really wanna know it, for example, one thing that you could do is take this whole thing and move this up seven semitones. So by doing this, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. If you just set the scale, which in this case is G minor, you will notice that all of these notes that we're playing are still in the right key. But be aware of the fact that you might still have some clashing. This is not gonna always work and it's not always gonna fit the song. So you just have to use your ears a little bit. I mean, yes, the notes are right, meaning that they're in the right key. But this is not telling me anything. This is not really helping the main melody, to be honest. So that's why I don't like to just be like, oh yeah, I know that to create a counter melody, I just can move this up seven semitones because it's not gonna always work. But again, you can experiment. You can look at the chords and be like, okay, but what other notes are inside this chord? Why don't we start from this note of the chord?
See, it's already a way of like harmonizing that top note using the other notes of the chord. And maybe you do it with a different instrument. Okay, I don't like this, but this gave me an idea. What if we do this? That's what I'm hearing, okay? So... So much more interesting. Yeah, love that, love that. Let's go. This is so Fred again. This is so emotional now. I love this. There is another pattern that I noticed while analyzing all of these songs, which is kind of in contrast with what we said up until now. And this is especially when you have chords that already sound so emotional, like there is a simple piano playing the chords in the most boring possible way, but the chords are so rich, are so emotional already that you don't need any melody on top of that. But don't get me wrong, that's done on purpose to leave room for whoever is writing on top of those chords to really explore the vocal melody without being distracted by other melodies played by your instruments. And a good example of this is Diamonds by Rihanna. And again, that song is produced by Stargate, the same people that produced So Sick by Neo. Two very different examples, but in both cases, the melody is so crucial. In So Sick, it's that harp melody that inspired Neo to write that melody on top. But with Diamonds, the chords were so rich, so powerful and emotional already that no other melody was needed. So this brings me to vocal melodies because vocals are the things that we as humans tend to remember the most. So adding a vocal melody to your track can make a big difference in making your beat stand out. And even if it's not like a finished melody, it can be a little vocal melody, it can be a little vocal chop. So you have chords that already feel emotional, powerful, rich, don't be afraid to just leave them like this and leave space for whoever's writing. Or you can add some little vocal chops or little vocal melodies that can inspire whoever is writing on your beats. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And for this, I'm gonna go to Hooked, which is this insane line inside of Arcade. I love this because it has so many options. I'm gonna set the key to G minor and I'm gonna play through some of these while my loop is playing to see if I get inspired. Is so cool. Ooh, and I love that it's all mapped out here on the keyboard. So basically every one of these buttons that you see here is, is a key on my keyboard, see? And if you combine the white keys of the keyboard with the black keys, you can achieve some cool things like, like this makes it fast. This kind of loops through. But super interesting, super interesting. Super, super cool. I could do something like this. Wow. So don't underestimate the power of vocal melodies. It doesn't have to be always an instrument. Let me look for another one now. I love this. Tell me all you See, this is like having an NPC in your hands. Like all of these vocals are chopped already. This is super creative. Tell me we'll be okay. Yeah. But this feels a little bit fast for the song. But one thing that we can do is go inside this and like edit this. But what if I do it half time? Tell me we'll be okay. I have an idea because now this feels too slow, but I would like it to be tell me we'll be okay. So like the first half to be like this, half time, and the second half to be fast. I'll just take the sample and we'll just drag it to the to the next one. I'm gonna leave this one tell me half time. And this one instead I'm gonna do it. We'll be okay. Yeah. So like tell me we'll be okay. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. I can definitely use this little thing as like a pre-drop vocal. Tell me we'll be okay. We'll be okay. Whoa, I love this. See how simple it can be, but just this little thing, tell me we'll be okay. It's not like genius lyrics or anything, but this can definitely inspire you or anyone else to write on this beat. So putting all of this together, and this is what I came up with. So very simple chords in the beginning with the harmony on top. Here, the main melody with the piano. With some other vocal layers that I added. Here's 
hear that? This is the counter melody that we did before. Kind of enriching the whole thing. New bass line. And yeah, this is what I got. I hope you liked this video and that you found some cool insight, guys. If this was helpful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.